Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to go through three different ways to create a graduation invitation. It's that time of year when you or a family member probably graduating, and it's a fun time to create your own custom invitation to send out to friends and family. So for these invitations, I have just grabbed a few stock photos from places like Pexels and Unsplash. And I have already set up artboards for all three of the invitations. If you're not sure how to do that, I will leave some links. You should see like a little eye up in the top right for creating a greeting card and the invitations and it'll go through how to set everything up. For my artboards, I I'm doing them in a five by seven. It's just a typical size here in the US. I also included room for a bleed. So actually my document sizes are 5.25 by 7.25. So I'm just going to go to the very first photo, copy it by using Command C or edit and copy. Go back to your artboard and paste it using Command V. And as you will see over in the layers panel, this has already dropped down to my first artboard, which is exactly where I wanted it. And now I'm just going to scale it down. Okay, so I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm just going to go ahead and put a rectangle at the bottom for all of the information. And this is where you can go ahead and change the color. I'm fine with the white. I'm actually gonna turn off that black stroke. Black also looks good, but you could also do like a yellow to match the color and the lights. But it is kind of fun to go around and pick a color from the image. Okay, so I really like the warmth of this kind of green color. So with that, I just want to add an, the word graduate, but I want it to be in kind of a cursive font, maybe something that's a little thicker and hand-drawn looking. And then underneath that, I'm just going to put the person's name. And I actually want that one to be in a very simple sans serif. And I'm also going to use the pen tool and I'm just going to add in a line next to the name. I'm gonna turn that stroke to white. Hit the stroke and then I want this width to be maybe half a point. Let's see what one point looks like. Yeah, I want half a point. You can hit option and grab that and hold shift to bring it to the other side. And just a quick note, I am keeping all of these designs as just the front. So this could be the image right on the front and you don't have to include any of the information I'm adding to the bottom. That could be on the back side of this document if you're printing a front and back, depending on where you're printing. If it's like someplace like Shutterfly, a lot of times you can do just a pattern or solid color on the back. So I'm just going to add in some text. And then I'm going to create three sections. So using that pen tool again, holding Option or Alt and Shift and drag. So now adding in some of the information, make sure to include an address. And if you ever Notice there's more of a gap between the lines than you like. If you go up to the top and this will kind of like centered, if you go there, it is the spacing and you can just go in and change it to what you like. I'm copying to the other side and then editing this side for the RSVP. And this middle one, I'm actually going to switch back to this cursive font to add just a little more interest. So there is graduation invitation number one. Moving on to option number two, 
Once again, grab the photo that you would like to use. For this one, I'm using the pen tool, but you could also very easily use the rectangle tool. And I am just going to start at one point, create a diagonal, and then select the corners of this artboard. And right now it has changed to white. Once again, you can change it to any color that you would like. I may change it to a gray. And I like the gray. So being this is glitter, if you want it to look more like foil, you can always go down to this FX, which is the layer effects. And I want to go to Gaussian blur and up that radius. Close it and then this would be a really fun place to add in another rectangle and then you can change the color of this to match the school colors. So I'm going to change this to a blue. So before I create a clipping mask for this, I want to kind of change the way that it looks. In the layers panel next to opacity, you will see where it says normal. If you go to that, you can change this. Really only take a look at that strip of the glitter or foil and it will give you some different effects. I actually really like overlay, so I'm going to do that one. And then drag it down below that rectangle. So this time at the bottom, just because it's a larger area, I'm going to do class of 2018. And we can always add some lines underneath the other section. Okay, so once you have the photo in, kind of that line of foil, class of or graduate, it's time to put in that same information as that last design. So make sure to include an address, RSVP, and the time and date of the event. I'm actually moving this to the top. I'm going to do something at the bottom that says graduation celebration, just to kind of fill in some more of the space. I'm just going to copy the information from this last design. So that is design number two done. On to the last design. And for the last design, once again, I'm just going to copy and paste the image. And just like we did with the last one, you can use the rectangle tool or you can use the pen tool. I'm actually going to use the pen tool. So start with that very first corner, create a straight line and then bring it down and close it at the very end. And I want that background to be white and then I want to change the opacity can use the node tool if you need to correct anything. Sometimes points don't always go as you want them. And if you're not sure if you have lined up your nodes correctly, you can always hit Command R to show your ruler. Click on that ruler and drag out to create a guide. And I actually did not line those up correctly, so I just want to update that node. So grab both nodes, hold shift, and then you can bring this out. 
So I like that a bit more. If it blends in a little too much with that background, you can always do like a drop shadow or an outer shadow as it is known in Affinity Designer. You could even do an outer glow if you wanted. So this is what it looks like with the drop shadow or the outer shadow. And when you are done with the guide, you can always hit Command R to take the ruler away and then command and semicolon to do the guide. You could always go up to view and there's the ruler and guide about halfway down. So once again, I'm just going to grab the information from the previous design. So just going to take some time to go through and update all of the colors. I'm actually going to change this up slightly. Bring this down to the bottom. Rotating this. So there you have three graduation invitations. I hope you enjoy the class. And if you are graduating soon, congratulations. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.